Hi, my name is Simon. I'm a tour guide in Israel. We're going to discuss five important words that can make a big difference in your future experience as a visitor in Israel and Jerusalem. And I don't mean you need to memorize these words or write them down. Most people in Israel speak English and other languages are also spoken. And it's important to note that using those five words will get you through doors, will get you into somebody's heart and through situations as well. And they're also a lot of fun. The words are Yalla, Walla, Habibi, Inshallah, and Sababa. Each of these words have lots of meaning and should be used in the right context and intonation, and preferably with hand movement. Yalla, for example, means let's go. If you ask somebody a question, you can end it with Yalla, as in, would you like to go out for dinner with me? Yalla? which means, shall we? And yalla can also mean, let's go. So your wife can tell you after spending two minutes in a store that you've waited all your life to visit, yalla, as in, let's go. And at that stage, you must look sadly and sheepishly at something and say, yalla, meaning, okay, let's go. And finally, there's yalla yalla, which means hurry up and you must never say that to your wife or in fact you don't want to use it to anyone unless they're really close and it's particularly rude to say yalla yalla brr which is what is used for camels now we're going to discuss a word called walla which is not the same as yalla it's with a w and it means i swear i could swear by allah and that basically is the, ex the equivalent of saying, well, is that so? So if a guy makes a claim that you are unable to verify, and a lot of people do that, you'd be surprised, you can say, voila, and that means, is that so? But be aware, you are invoking the name of God. Now, if you are told something that is new to you and you wish to acknowledge, you could say, Voila, as in, I could swear. I didn't know that. That's interesting. And if you need to buy time, as in when asked a personal question, you can say, Voila, I need to think about it. As in, well, I need to ask my wife. That sort of thing. The word is used both in Hebrew and Arabic. Now comes the word Habibi, or Habibti for female. Habibi means dear, as in, my dear, friend. You can say, Yalla Habibi has been, come on my dear friend, or let's go love. But you don't really want to use that with Habibti, which is for women, because you don't know them and you don't want to call them love. It is mostly used in Arabic, and Jerusalem, old city, is a very good place to use it. But everyone understands it. Now, Sababa is a good word because it's easy. It means okay, good, or splendid. It is used both in Hebrew and Arabic. And you can use it as a question. Like you would say to someone, would you like to come out for dinner, Sababa? And the answer would be Sababa, which means okay, let's do it. The final word for today is Inshallah, meaning God willing or with the help of God. Now here again you are invoking the use of God in the conversation so you need to be respectful. So if you're going to ask someone how are you he may answer inshallah meaning thank God. Now inshallah also means I hope so as in you when you are asking when will the bathrooms be available and the answer anytime soon inshallah followed by a shoulder shrug. And it can also mean, I don't know, it's in God's hands. So one could be asked, when will my bus arrive? And the answer could be, in 20 minutes, inshallah, while looking up to the heaven, holding your hands open, preferably followed by a shoulder shrug. Hi you guys, this is Simon again. Thank you for listening all the way. 
and for liking and subscribing. I've got some interesting material about Jerusalem and Israel. And I'm a tour guide. You're welcome to drop me a line in case you feel like coming.